Screw introductions! Let's play some Outlast! Oh boy. Diving in deeper. Ew! Ew, 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 ew! Oh man. I just. wonder what they call that pose in yoga. Dying scientist. Man, I still can't tell if this is ice or stone. I'm guessing it's got to be stone because it seems to kind of melt with the ground. And Well, actually, no, look, the ground shimmers. But it's also, but look, it also is like so symmetrical. Geometric, I don't know. This. I'm guessing this has to be stone. I'm not positive. Also, these look like doors, but I don't, I, yeah, there's no handle, so I can't really interact with them, can I? Oh, boy, the wall rider had a party in here. It's such a party. Uh, I'm leaving my footy prints all over the place. Look at that. Look at them bloody footprints. Is there anything in here? Nothing of import. Okay. Hello. Looks like a very healthy pair of lungs right there. Patient 1287B. Congratulations. All right. What's this we're looking at? Postmortem preparatory report. Bunch of numbers. Form note, all material herein to be transcribed and revised to fit legally binding requirements of Markov Core records. See Form 4083. Author Jennifer Rowland. Notes, my 14th autopsy of a wall rider patient. A wall rider patient? What? Showing no more signs of accepting the therapy than any of the others. There have been slight gains in cell migration and morphogenesis, including effects similar to human growth hormone, but nothing to suggest the stable creation of a sentient independent swarm so tired doubting my judgment we'll submit another request for leave the psychological cost of using such far gone and further provoked patience is more than I feel I can handle may suggest hanging less hope on the far-flung theories of a senile Nazi and move towards using a simpler mechanical engine based on major sperm protein leave it to a woman to be interested in sperm will definitely suggest harsher chemical restraints Markov security killed patient 921 after he overcame enough tranquilizers to put down a hockey team. I'm afraid the hormone therapy is interacting with our chemical restraints in a counterproductive manner. Huh. Man, so these, these hormones are giving him are... Oh, man, he just exploded. He just freaking exploded. Oh, wow, yeah. Like, seriously, he freaking exploded. Look at the way everything's aligned, man. But, uh... What, I mean, oh, a wall rider patient? Is that's gross? A wall rider patient? What, what the frick? I thought that the wall rider was like this demon thing, like independent of anyone else. My on, honest to goodness, my theory was that they were like, like trying to harness it for something and figure out how to use its powers. I don't know because they're talking about all that dream therapy and hypnosis and whatnot. I thought you know, wall riders, a demon of your dreams. Maybe its whole point is to try to. Well, their, their whole reason they studied the thing was to try to get inside how it works so they could use it for their own benefit. Ooh! <gasps> it's daytime! It's daytime! Can I leave? I want to go. I want to go home. Let's see. There's that room over there. It's a, that's an elevator. Frick. Uh oh Two directions I can go. I'll go this way. It looks inviting. It looks happy and pleasant. The morphogenic engine. Oh, the math. It impacts me so much because I totally know what it means. So this is the morphogenic engine. A few lines of mathematics and algorithm. Reprogram us. Turn us into nightmare factories. A few numbers on a dry erase board. Give me a hacksaw. A few hours alone with Dr. Wernke's corpse. I feel I owe him a debt. Yeah, at least he, he at least owes you a couple fingers. Alright, so I don't know if any of you guys are math geniuses or nerds out there, but feel free to look over that. I'm going to just sit here for a second so you can take a look at it. If you can, if you know anything what that's about, feel free to leave it in the comments, because I am, I'm a little curious, but at the same time, I'm not curious enough to sit around and just sit over it. Open sesame! <laughs> it worked! Whoop, a daisy. Oh, all this blood. Oh, the blood. Uh, sir, I think, I don't know if you lost your lower half in time recently, but it looked like it walked away without you. Why the music? Why the music? The music is never, ever a good sign. And why does this room even exist? 
This feels like a red herring. Okay. Okay. This looks like a secret lab area, so surely there's nothing alive down here, is there? Oh. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! Oh frick! Oh frick! Oh frickity frick! Frickity frick! What the shit? The one rider's on me! Ah! <laughs> No, 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 Run! Run, you bastard! Run! Run, no, 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 go, 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 go! Oh my god! <laughs> Why? You always find me! Is there a tracking dart in my ass? Or... Oh. Oh? I don't know how to feel about this. Oh! Oh! This is the way you die. Ripped to pieces from the inside, watching your marrow scatter on a concrete wall. You've escaped one hell, Chris Walker. God help me, but I somehow hope you didn't find another. Oh my gosh! I don't know how to feel about this. I mean, in one sense... Oh gosh, in one sense, I... I mean, Captain Fugly just... I mean, he scares the shit out of me. Don't get me wrong. But in one sense, I kind of always felt bad for him. Because, you know, everything he was doing, he was doing because he thought he was helping. So it's hard for me to really fault that kind of motive. But, man... To go like that, that's a terrible way to go. No one should have to go like that. Can I go in here? No. Where the frick do I go then? Everything's blocked off. Where do I go? Where do I go? Do I have to like hit a button or something? Maybe I have to go backwards. There are a lot of rooms back there. I bet you there's some kind of button that can maybe disable the alarm. Anything? That's what I should say. Find another way out. I heard a voice. Co what, coming to explain? I heard someone saying, talking about explaining. This door was not open before. I know. I, I know. I'm supposed to be dead. No, no such luck. I God. am older than sin, but somehow the only one left. Your lip, your lip is sagging there. Billy. Represents your growing insanity. Nano hazard. Technology we have had for decades but never mastered. Berkov discovered the virus. function of cells to produce molecules, but through psychosomatic direction, we engineer the precise molecules necessary. Mind over body. It was huh. foolish and wrong to think we could control it. To use madmen to make something so strong. You have to stop so. it. Murder Billy. Oh gosh, I'm not a fighter. I'm a lover. You have to undo what I've done. No one can get out of this place while he lives. You must kill him. Oh man. And Billy in the main laboratory. So so is Billy like the current Oh, I thought I could collect that. So is Billy like the current They talked oh. like this in 1944. Fascists thought it was spirits, but I let them believe it. Let them kill themselves, thinking there was some kind of afterlife now empirically promised to them. Fools. Poor Aaron. He would weep to see what I've built from his dreams. Billy doesn't mean harm. He's a child with a damaged mind, granted the powers of a god. Okay. 
Can I still hear him when he talks? Oh man, I cut it off. Okay, uh, uh, I didn't want to stick around too long because it was just wasting a lot of time. It was interesting to hear. At the same time, I gotta find this Billy. Cut off life support because I'm guessing. So I guess he's the current wall rider, or at least fueling the wall rider in some way. So if I can turn him off, stop this thing. It's still not here. Oh. Okay, I went the wrong way. Heading back. Oh, oh okay, here we go, here we go. This was no, it was literally just to my right. Uh, I am a stupid dummy dumb. Uh -huh. Aha! More bathrooms! Peekaboo! Oh. Ew. Hey, hey. Camera? Oh, you don't have a battery. I have noticed that that's the pattern, though, that if you want to find a battery, look for electronics randomly lying around. Took me long enough to notice that pattern. I thought the cameras were just placed just to kind of mock me, but no, I think that Father Martin was going around and finding these things and leaving the batteries for me. You know, for, for an asshole who wanted me to just record everything for him, he was kind enough to at least know that I needed batteries and to keep me fueled. Oh, man. This, sir, is why you don't eat Mexican. You have to build up. You have to build up resistance. I just said Mexican, like eating a Mexican person. You don't eat Mexican food. That's what happens. You get the. Oh, actually, no, 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 no. This, no, this is the combo of Mexican and Indian food. Come at me. You're offended. Come get me. I'm right here. Okay. Well, I bet you once upon a time this was a very nice looking break room. Ugh. Now it just looks all. Disheveled. I mean, look at this. No one's dusted here in days. Shameful! This looks like a loop to loop. Why do I have a loop to loop? Please don't tell me that someone else is going to come in here. I mean, I know we've gotten rid of one problem, but. Ugh. As you can really access everything. I, I always assume since you can access everything, that means that there must be something hiding in there. Once again, completionist in me. Alright, Billy! Where are you, Billy? Morphogenic engine chambers. Uh, left or right? Left or right? Uh, da, 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 da. Right, let's go right. Damn it, I chose the dead end. Actually, that's a good thing. Usually it means if they're going to hide anything, it's usually in the dead end. Nope, but not today. Today I'm just a dummy dumb who's wasting time. What? what? Oh, frick. Oh, fricky frick. Oh, frickity frick! Ah! <laughs> no! No! Okay. Oh, oh, I see it. I see it. You see that? I saw that open vent. I have to crawl in there. All right. I know what I'm doing now. All right. Let's do it. Knock at me this time, you bastard! Knock at me this time, you bastard! I'm crawling through. You can't, can't touch us. Do, 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 do. Can't touch us. Are you gonna just come back around that way? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Nope! Nope, 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 nope. Screw you! Oh, okay, good. I was afraid I wasn't gonna be able to go up there. Alright, run! Run! That way? This way? I'm just guessing this way. I have no idea. Go away! Oh, wait a minute! With the metal... <gasps> with the metal sides and the gas... That's to stop him from going through! That wasn't just random gas. That was deliberately meant to keep him out. Oh, that's good to know. Alright, that's busted. I have no, I literally have no idea where I'm going. Case in point. Oh man, the music took an interesting turn. All right, let's go. Let's go. Can I go? Can I go? Please? Please? Why? Why am I stuck? Do you have something I can take, sir? You don't like the, oh wait, mine. I will take it. All right. Note all personnel from consult MM008, Rudolph Wernicke. Do not worship the swarm, nor allow the delusions of the patients to influence your beliefs. 
Any sentient being based in this technology will be so far superior to us, illusions of godliness will be reasonable. We've always looked into chaos and called it God. We now are blessed with sufficient power that such belief could destroy us. Do not be tempted. Remember, you are scientists. I'll be honest, it doesn't look like these scientists were smart enough to know how to handle the situation. Well, seriously though, where do I go? Man, I thought I'd have to go... Oh my gosh, did it literally open as I was turning... Open as I was turning away. I am a genius. Uh, big green button. Wait, what that button do? I push all the buttons. Push, 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 push. I want to push all the buttons. Drop the valve for the life support. Oh. I bet this is Billy. All right. From Billy's patient reports, he ought to be 23 years old. It looks like at least 50 years of rough road. Pain scratched deep into what I can see. Killing you would be an act of kindness. Or would it? Yeah, Maybe it would. Maybe it would. Maybe I shouldn't be playing devil's advocate in this situation. The devil's had enough fun with the scene. Hello! Nope. Nope. This is my job. Where am I going then? Do not pop up on me, Wall Rider. Do not. Do not do it. Hello? Nothing? Oh, wait. I saw something. Oh, okay. Hang on. Uh, gosh, I am absolutely full on the batteries. I'm really shocked. I... So many times I was convinced I was going to be running out of batteries before the end of the game, and now... Here we go. This looks like where I'm supposed to go. One of those green lights. Okay. Someone went splat, And I thought that was a note. I thought they went splat and left a note. Please don't step on my remains. Alright. Where am I going? Ooh. Valve. That's right. I'm turning valves, right? Turn off the valve for life support in fluid reservoir. Okay. Uh, it looks like I gotta get up there. Let's do it. Do not show up on me, Wall Rider. Do not do it. I'm in no mood for your shenanigans. All right. Do not turn the valve. Fuck you. I do what I want. All right. Valve turned. Cut off the electric supply from the sub lab generator. Why? Why? Oh my gosh, he was right there! Ah. <laughs> Damn it! Ah. I literally could not see him. I did not know he was coming. Ah. Okay, we'll try that again. Nope! Nope, no, 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 no! Not get me! Why do you do that? He's cl opens it so slowly. Come on, bust through it. Come on. I oh, let these doors open. Why are they closed? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, what do I do now? Uh, cut the electric supply from the sub lab generator. Okay, sub lab generator. Sub lab. So I'm going down. I'm. Oh, flashing light. Follow the flashing light. If I die up here, then so be it. I'll come back. I'll try again. Close the door. Closing door. Closing door. You're not getting me. Oh, wrong way. Squeeze, you bastard! Okay, okay. You're not there. You're not there. You're not there. All right. Closing. Where am I going? Where am I going? Looks like I'm going this way. I can do it. I can do it. Come on. Come on. You know, I have to have incredible cardio. I just, I'm running up so many flights of stairs. My heart must be like an athlete's or something. I mean, I realize you get more adrenaline. It's getting dark. Why is it getting dark? Oh, my goodness. Jump! Oh! Good jump! Uh... I have no... Oh, shit! That was him! Did you see that? That was him. He just materialized right the fuck behind me. Go, 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 go! Ha, 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 ha! You can't handle the gas. You bastard. Okay. All right. Go, 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 go. Oh man, I'm like close to the end of my time for the episode, but I really want to keep going. Alright, pull it. Just, just pull it. Okay. Alright. 
That sounds wonderful. That's a very happy sound. All right, give, just gas me already. Ah, refreshing. As a hint of pine scent. You better not be waiting for me. You're waiting for me. I am so fucked. I'm so fucked if you're just waiting for me. Oh shit. Just go. Jump! Oh! Oh! Oh no 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 no! Let me go! Oh! Oh gosh! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Oh my goodness! Oh you have to be in so much pain! Go! Just go! Leave him! Leave him! Oh my goodness! Squeeze! Squeeze in! Squeeze, 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 squeeze! Go! You're almost there! You're almost there! Go away! Alright, alright, downstairs! 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 What am I doing next? What am I doing next? Just able to life pod self fail safe. Okay! That's all I have to do! What how do I do that? Is it around Billy? Is it around Billy? No, is it? Is it? Oh! Found that! I know it's in the middle of chasing, but let's read it. Uh, to avoid patient injury, the morphogenic engine life pod requires a daily inspection of all vital systems. Uh, system 1, the enriched oxygenated from the life support fluid reservoir must be continually flushed and replaced through the course of the patient's treatment. Note that OP has also, also supplies anesthetics. An interruption in supply will cause sufficient pain to the patient, potentially disrupt the experiment. System 2, extra supply is supplemented and endured by the sublight generator. Proper fueling and maintenance of the sublight generator should be confirmed hourly. In the case of catastrophic loss of vital systems, A2, iPod failsafe will begin maintaining localized. This is literally something I should have read before I started all of this, but oh well. Timing is a bitch. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, stairs. Stairs. Climb the stairs. No. Not the stairs. Shit. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Where? Where do I go? I don't know where to go. And I hear the wall rider. I do not know where he is. Though. Is he? Oh, shit, he is right behind me. Oh wait, I saw a button prompt. Oh, it was right there. I just missed it. Oh, I'm just keep running. I'm gonna keep running. I'm gonna keep running. Keep running. I'm gonna hit it. You can't stop me. Yes. Ah ha. I got you, boy. Oh, actually, I felt bad, brother. Oh. Oh, it's gonna throw me around. Why don't you? Oh, come on, I can take you. Come on. Oh, gosh. I had two of my fingers cut off. I can take getting punched by a misty fart. My goodness, he has the weirdest looking face. Oh, oh, goodness. I just... That just fucking went inside of me. That just went inside of me. Oh man, that, that orb up there—that just makes me think of Alien. Remember the remember the uh, the motherboard ship place? If you talk to the computer. Those lights on that device up there remind me of that. But that thing freaking went inside of me. Billy is dead. The Wall Rider, the swarm, whatever it is, unmade with him. Whether I escape or die here, I'm free. Free, huh? You are hurt. You are. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, just get up. Come on, dude. You made it so far. Oh gosh. You can make it. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. Oh my goodness. Come on. You can make it. I feel so bad for Miles. He said a few assholeish things every once in a while, but. Uh, but then again, what journalist doesn't? Oh my goodness. Come on, let's just get out. Although, seriously, am I carrying this thing inside of me? That's my biggest concern right now. So, oh shit, what if I'm, what if I'm like taking this out to the world? I am unleashing the wall rider. Oh, come on, don't do that. Let's not do that. Come on, man. You're so close. That's the exit. You can do it. You can make it. Come on. You can go. You... Oh. That vision change is not good. And... Oh. oh! Okay. What? What? Oh my 
I became the Wall Rider. I I'm assuming that's what happened. I, I became the Wall Rider. I became the host. And I became the monster. Oh, man. Now that is a creepy ending. That is an ending right there. Oh, wow. That's... Whew. That was an adventure. That was... That was such an adventure. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Um... I, I've played only a couple horror games in the past. Actually, no, I'm going to save my reflection slot at the end of the credits. If there's anything at the end of the credits, I'll record that. And if not, then I'll share my thoughts there. Well, not only was there nothing at the end of the credits, but my uh, my computer actually crashed um, at the very end of it. So that was a lot of time sitting around for not too much payoff. But oh well, we checked. Marvel movies have spoiled me. I always look to the end of the credits now. Well, anyways... I just wanted to provide some quick thoughts about Outlast because this game was incredible. Story, the story was really good. I loved the mechanics. I love how everything kind of fit together in a really bizarre way. I think it was a little tricky to follow at points, but you know, it was based mostly around how many of the notes we were able to find. So I guess it really depends on how good of a searcher are you. Uh, gameplay amazing. I played Alien Isolation which came out after this I believe and the gameplay in that one was also really good but this one just, I don't know, it felt more natural to do a lot of the same stuff, you know, hiding you know, in lockers or appearing around corners I don't know, it just felt, it was simpler it was simpler and that's really what made it work your goal in this game is simple, survive and the gameplay itself was also simple. Graphics really good for an indie game I mean, and then using you know, another engine it was really good the graphics were fantastic. Every room felt visceral and unique. Uh, design. <clears throat> very fluid, actually. One of the things I really enjoyed about this game was they're using a very simple cues, you know, the blood trail cues, or having a one flickering light, the only light working in the damn room, to point out the vent that you have to escape through. Little things like that made it really easy to follow, and yet it did not break the synergy of the rest of the game. It was very engaging, it was very fun, it was very helpful. Alright, uh, sound. Sound, honestly, was like the strongest point of this whole game. The sound was absolutely perfect. Every footstep, every breath that you took sounded so real, and it really pulled you into the moment. He would breathe deeply, and I caught myself breathing deeper as a result. So the sound was honestly the best feature about this whole damn game. And last but not least, I'll just talk about animation. Animation was good. It was a little clunky, but hey... They weren't. They didn't start out with much to do this game. There were some some motions, particularly like movements of the torso or of the arms, that looked a little, you know, weird. But like I said, like I said before, it's an indie game, and for an indie game, this this is mind blowing. This is an incredible game. I recommend it to everyone. I'm gonna get started actually on the whistleblower campaign just a little bit. But anyways, I want to share my thoughts real quick on this. And with that, I'm just going to end the first part of the Outlast playthrough. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked, go ahead and leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And if not, then go ahead. Find another channel. They won't love you like I will. Toodles!